What does it look like to serve God as a follower of Christ? We continue this series following what we started in part one, where we looked at a bond servant who willingly gave up freedom for the rest of their life because of the love they had for a master. So continuing in that same story that comes from Exodus 21 about what a bond servant does when they give up their freedom, when the master has made the mark on them, they are hammering, driving an awl through their earlobe. But why the earlobe? Well, the interesting part of this comes from Leviticus chapter 8, where we see the priest consecrated for service to God. That means set apart for his service. When they, the ceremony happens, they do consecration in three parts. They do the thumbs, they do the big toes, and then they do the earlobes. So why do we do these? Well, first, the thumbs represent the hands, the serving of God with deeds, the tasks before us. We serve every day. And that's what the priests did. They served every day. Then we had the feet. Uh, the, the big toes represent the feet of walking the walk of the Christian faith, of not just talking the talk, but actually going and doing and showing others the way. And finally, we have the earlobe. Because when you are listening to God, you will serve God in accordance with his will. So when you are listening, you are dedicating yourself to his service in a different way than just going and doing and walking. So I, can, I encourage you as you consider this to go and do, to walk the walk for others, but most importantly, as you serve God, listen for his voice, follow his voice demonstrate that service is lived out in obedience to God. Blessings on you today.